almost from Sandia's beginning, the earth sciences have been critical to our nuclear weapons and national security work. When we began underground testing, the earth sciences were critical to understanding the subsurface effects, the weapons effects on the meteorology, yield assessment, and later understanding non-proliferation work and assessment. So back in the early days, it was really involved in the underground test containment, going on to non-proliferation, detecting seismic signals from underground nuclear explosions after people started testing underground. So that was the first thing. Then there was, okay, we're going to use nuclear explosions maybe for peaceful means. I remember uh, an old friend of mine from Sandia mentioning he worked on plowshare back in the days. Um, so then you get into more into energy, and then it went into um, went into nuclear waste disposal. Our knowledge of geomechanics, particularly salt mechanics, um, what became very useful in that area. And so it was important that something be done to solve that problem in a permanent way rather than a temporary fashion. So in order to keep the defense program, primarily the nuclear subs, running, they had to figure out a way to do this. And the WHIP was their solution to the true waste disposal. Over time, the role of earth sciences at Sandia has evolved from supporting simply nuclear weapons and underground testing to being core to all of our national security missions and developing the fundamental science needed to inform those missions. When I first came to Sandia, I was it. There weren't any other geoscientists active on a roll. But, uh, but that, as you know, it did change rapidly with the years. And it's because the projects that Sandia fell into or developed uh, required a geotechnical sort of background from uh, some of the staff. So Sandia's ability to, un to have people that understand at a deep level how the earth works and what the Earth will do for you in the atmosphere so that we can bring a deep understanding of why you can and cannot do things. It isn't like we had a big group of geoscientists waiting here for a project to happen so we could put them to work. It's after the project came that we went out and hired the specific people we thought we needed to address these geoscience topics. Well, Geoscience Research Foundation is one of seven research foundations at Sandia. And it's important because it provides resources for our earth science community at Sandia to do fundamental and applied research that will help the programs that we have now and the programs in the future. But we're still doing cutting edge stuff. I mean, it, we always are, are, are seeking that cutting edge and then applying it and I'd like to be remembered for a guy that helped that happen. In the future, we expect Earth Science at Sandia to remain vital and critical to Sandia's missions. Those may include expanding into the area of climate change, potentially geoengineering, and ocean autonomous vehicles. And the bottom line is, is that Earth Sciences will always be looking to the future and enabling and enhancing CNDA's missions.